What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. My name is Charlie and today before we get into it I want you guys to know there's some new people here to the channel. Welcome to the channel uh, If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below Make sure you hit that like button and if you're new Subscribe if you have not already so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content and hit that little bell notification So you never miss out when I upload a new video every single day and uh, we do live streams here uh, every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to work. I'm working on figuring out when to do more live streams in a different time so that it's easier for some of the guys overseas that are in different time zones, all that sort of fun stuff. So definitely check that out. Let me know uh, when is a good time for me to start a uh, live stream for you. Let me know down in the comment section. But now let's get into the video. We'll go ahead and hatch some eggs because we have some big news about egg Pokemon. We've got big news about, I mean, there's just updates in general. It's huge news, guys. Huge news. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is my third shiny, you guys. My third shiny. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's three shinies. Three. Bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you're kidding me. Hey, this is just another reason to subscribe to the channel, guys. Like, stuff like this happens all the time. <laughs> oh my god, that's three shinies. I've got three shiny Tauros. Alright, we don't need you two. Boom. I only keep the three passive guys, but look at this. So there's one. Uh, where's the second one? Right here's the second one, and then if we do, uh, like that, you can see I've got, uh, oop, 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 nope, 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 where's the third one? There he is, right here's the third one. <laughs> so there's my three shinies, you guys. I have three shiny Tauros. What is going on right now? Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead, I've got a bunch of two star eggs and one star eggs, so we'll go ahead and throw two star eggs in. Alright, there we go. Good deal. Alright, now, uh, let's go ahead and check out the Pokemon Masters updates. Uh, so we'll check out, uh, the major update coming soon, and then we'll check out the Volume 12, uh, message from the Pokemon Masters team. So, in the major update, it's got, uh, the changes listed below will be made in the version 1.120.0 update scheduled for late July this month, like next week or the week after, uh, 2020. Updates to the explore menu. We have courses and super courses found in the training area will be removed. It's going to be called the EX Plaza, and uh, it's just going to be made a lot easier for us to know... Oh, this is where we go get aids, this is where we go get level up stuff, all that fun stuff, okay? It's where you go and grind out for items that you need to uh, increase the power and level, all that sort of fun stuff for your Pokemon. Uh, to coincide with the removal of super courses and courses, the current training area will be renamed the EX Plaza. There you go. And a brand new uh, training area uh, will be added as a place where items for training can be obtained and uh, <laughs> items used to unlock level caps as well as sync orbs can be obtained through battles in the new training area a stamina function stamina system uh, will be introduced as a trial it's very important to understand guys it's going to be a trial run some battles will require stamina to play but there will also be battles that do not require stamina Note, based on feedback from players, we are taking a flexible approach to the stamina function, including the possibility of removing it. These guys, look, you really have to hand it to the developers of Pokemon Masters. They do listen to the community. One of the few games where I've noticed that the developers really do pay attention to what the players are telling them, like through feedback... Don't be mean about the feedback. Just talk to the be be polite and express your concerns about whatever is happening in the game. Just be polite about it. Otherwise, they're not going to read it because why would you read hate mail? Just be polite in the in the feedback and they'll read it and 
as you can see here, they're very receptive to player feedback. All right. Uh, and the, the feedback right here is actually clickable, so it will take you to the feedback section where you can send them a message. Uh, we would appreciate any additional feedback uh, you can provide after playing this new update. We're definitely going to be giving them feedback after that, okay? <laughs> to coincide, we'll see, we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works out. To coincide with the addition of stamina, various in-game rewards will be adjusted. Uh, skip tickets will be introduced. Okay. Using a skip ticket before some battles where you have met the requirements will allow you to skip the battle and obtain the rewards immediately. Uh, so farming. Don't need to farm anymore. Uh, player rank will be introduced. Okay. Uh, your player rank increases as you use stamina and your maximum stamina stamina. Uh, will increase according to your player rank. Okay. So that encourages you to play the game a lot more. Okay, that's a good way to balance out a stamina system. Uh, updates to sync pairs. Uh, type skills will be introduced. Type skills are new skills that all sync pairs will have. They are activated when you have two or more sync pairs on your team that share the same sync move type. So ice type, dragon type, fire type, all that sort of stuff. This is really cool. I love this addition. Uh, moves and skills will no longer have to be learned. What? Uh, okay. Okay. Instead, all sync pairs will know their moves and passive skills from the beginning. Man, they're really trying to get rid of gr that, that, that grind for items and stuff. And if you're new to Pokemon Masters, this is amazing. Because you don't have to grind to unlock all the uh, passive skills and all that sort of stuff. You'll just be able to use the units uh, at what... You, you're going to have to level them up, of course. But, like, you, you'll you be able to just use the units. That's amazing. It's so good. Guys. Guys, it's so good. Uh, okay, so now we have to be learned. Instead, all sync pairs will uh, know their passive skills from the beginning. Uh, the level cap unlocking feature up to the third tier will be removed... The level caps of all sync pairs will be adjusted to coincide with this change. The initial level cap of all sync pairs will be 100, regardless of the number their number of stars. Okay, so they are going to cap out at 100, and uh, I think we'll be able to... Is that just it? They're just going to be capped at 100. Coincide with this change. So third tier will be removed. So I guess they're just going to be... Like, there's units that are 115 at max out, they 120 at max out. I guess they'll just all be at level 100. So 100 is going to be the baseline maximum level. Uh, the number of items required to unlock the level caps of some sync pairs will be reduced. Again, making it easier for uh, new players to play the game. And for, you know, uh, you don't need as many items, you don't need to grind. That's what they're trying to get away from is the grind. Alright, so updates to items. Some items such as the buff blend and the training machine will become redundant following the changes. Uh, so, the uh, uh, some of the redundant items can be exchanged for other items in the exchange items menu. Cool, so if you have an excess amount of, <coughs> of uh, buff blends and other, other aids and training machines, stuff like that, you'll be able to exchange them. That's cool. Other minor changes and adjustments. Okay. As a sign of our appreciation for your support, the following presents will be sent to all players when this update is released. Non-paid gems times 3,000. Guys! <laughs> Dude, if you were thinking... Hey, if you were thinking of, like, if you or your friend were thinking about playing the game, now's the time to do it. Share. Share this video with your non-Pokemon uh, Masters friends, because... This is awesome. You'll get a st skip ticket and we'll get some free stamina as well. So, dude, now's the time because we've got the one year anniversary coming up where we're probably going to get a Cygnus Suit Red rerun and we're probably, most likely, going to get Cygnus Suit Blue. Maybe Cygnus Suit Leaf? Maybe. Maybe if they just want to throw everything at us, including the kitchen sink. So, we'll see what happens. But 3,000 free gems. Is amazing that's a uh, uh 
That's a that's a multi pull right there. Like they're giving you a free multi pull. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, skip tickets and stamina will be sent as login bonuses when this update is released. Okay, cool. Uh, the number of presents to be sent as well as how to collect them will be announced at a later date. All right, cool. And important, non-paid gems are sent to your present box. The non-paid gems sent to your present box can only be claimed for a limited time period. So make sure you claim them, okay, guys? Make sure you claim them. Uh, otherwise, they will be going away. So it's free gems. Get them. It's a free multi pool. Uh, the content is subject to change without notice. Of course, they always have to put that in there. We hope you continue to enjoy playing uh, Pokemon Masters. I think we will. Now let's get into the message from the uh, Pokemon Masters team. Volume 12. Huge update here, guys. Huge update. Uh, let's see here. Greetings, trainers. We're the producers of Pokemon Masters. Yu Sasaki and Tetsuya Iguchi. Uh, here uh, with a new message for you i can't wait uh today uh we'll discuss plans for the one year anniversary celebration and other updates happening through august oh. we're also uh we'll also talk about the stamina system and other plan improvements to existing features so they're going to expand on the stamina system here uh updates through late august the pokemon egg feature and egg events all right, thanks to Professor Bellis' tireless research on Passio. I wonder where she's been. Uh, new Pokemon eggs have been available since late June. Yes, this is true. Uh, you just saw me hatch a shiny Tauros. Uh, the player character has uh, the option to form a sync pair with the Pokemon that hatch from these eggs. It doesn't take as many resources to strengthen a hatch Pokemon as it does to strengthen other Pokemon, so we hope you train with a lot of them and try forming various teams. Additionally, the Pokemon, uh, the bug type egg event, uh, which we found out about in the data mines, uh, event is scheduled to begin soon. It's your chance to get eggs that can hatch Scyther and Pinsir, so don't miss it. There's also a bunch of other ones, Venomoth and, and a few other ones that we'll be able to get to. Uh, but you also are able to get a shiny Scyther I want a shiny Scyther. Apparently, I've got great shiny luck. Has hashtag shiny gang. <laughs> if you include, uh, uh, if you include a player character uh, sync pair or a bug type sync pair in your team for this event, your chances of getting an egg will increase. Yo, okay, so that's, uh, it doesn't have to be an egg Pokemon. You can just do, um, wait, let me. Uh, uh, include a player character sync pair. Yeah, so that can be Pikachu. I mean, use Pikachu because he's amazing. He's Potion Chew. Like, he's one of the greatest free-to-play units in the game. Uh, Torchic. You could use Torchic as well, uh, depending on what we need to do and who your team is. Uh, more on that when it comes out. <laughs> uh, so that's really cool. Uh, will increase, so we recommend you train those sync pairs in preparation. Uh, so let's see here. There's also a very rare chance some, some of the eggs you hatch are a shiny Pokemon. Yep, si shiny Scyther. Uh, we encourage everyone to get lots of eggs and find their perfect partner. Hey, all right. And this is really cool. We've got, uh, Steven here with Alolan Sandslash. We're getting we're getting summer summer units, you guys. This is awesome. Okay, summer seasonal sync pair scouts. Uh, we've already seen Steven paired with Metagross, and next he's uh, teaming up with the Alolan Sandslash that he's been training. There's some uh, one more summer seasonal sync pair that will appear as well. So look forward to their debut to find out who they are. I'm guessing. Let me know who you think it's going to be down in the comment section. Uh, I'm thinking it's Cynthia. I'm thinking of Cynthia. I have no idea who Cynthia's sync pair Pokemon is going to be, but I think it's Swimsuit Cynthia. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And there is some precedent for this because um, back in December of last year, you had Seabold and uh, Rosa who were male and female uh, holiday, like Christmas time holiday uh, sync pair, seasonal sync pairs there. So there's precedent for a male and a female 
I'm thinking it's Swimsuit Cynthia. We'll see what happens. Type skills. Type skills are scheduled to be introduced in late July's update. Uh, type skills active uh, during battle. Uh, activate during battle if you form a team containing two or more sync pairs of the same type. Again, we were talking about that in the previous little news thing where if you have a fire type team, a dragon type team, all that sort of stuff. Uh, same thing, strengthening the sync pairs on your team. That's awesome. It's really awesome. Uh, we're also working on introducing team-based enhancements that activated by conditions other than type. So stay tuned. So that includes like Kanto trainers, Johto trainers, Alolan trainers, uh, if you're from the same region. If you're um, Elite Four, like tags. So it's essentially going to be like a tag system, like uh, Kanto Elite Four, Johto Elite Four, like all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, Galarian Elite Four, a Galarian Champion. Champions, that could be a whole other tag. Like, pff, there's so many. Pallet Town could be. Pallet Town could be a tag. Like, oh my god. Okay, there, there's a lot they can do here. Okay. Major updates uh, for the one year anniversary. Pokemon Master celebrates its one year anniversary in late August. The first event of our celebration will be a legendary event in mid-August. This time you'll face the legendary Pokemon Pol Palkia. Palkia. Oh. That was my wake-up thing, but I woke up early. I can't help it. Alright, so uh, Palkia. We get a Palkia legendary event. Uh, that's dope. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, remember, you're not going to be able to form a sync pair with Palkia. You're not able to form sync pairs with the legendary event Pokemon. Uh, it's just good battles and uh, very, very difficult battles, very challenging battles, and you get a lot of rewards for completing them. All right, so also in late August, we will launch other features previously announced, such as the Champion Stadium. I can't wait for that, uh, in which you can take on Elite Four members and champions of other regions and find new ways to strengthen sync pairs. Uh, can't wait, man. There's so many updates coming. Uh, we're working hard to make this massive update exciting for everyone. Okay. Stamina and other improvements. For late July's update, so like next week, week after, uh, we're scheduled the following improvements mentioned in our previous message. The new training area, the trial launch of the stamina system. We're especially looking forward to hearing your thoughts on our trial launch of the stamina system. So please give it a try. We are planning to put out another survey and would appreciate your feedback as we make balance adjustments moving forward. Yes, we did. a. I think there was a fantastic response on the previous uh, survey. You guys did an awesome job. Uh, this next survey will continue to provide feedback. Uh, because they want us to be able to have as much fun playing the game as possible. That's the whole purpose, is to have fun. We all love Pokemon, we all love playing the game. Uh, so we'll all give feedback and we'll do it together in a video together uh, when that happens. All right, uh, what to expect in the next message? We'll be bringing you our next message as a video. Okay, scheduled for mid-August. In it, uh, we'll focus on the upcoming one-year anniversary celebration of Pokemon Masters. We're always working hard to deliver updates and improvements uh, that make the world of Pokemon Masters as fun as possible. Uh, we prioritize trainers' feedback. Again, they link the feedback so you can s it'll send you right to the feedback uh, uh, section where you can literally just send a message about whatever is bugging you with the game. Be nice! Be nice and they will read it. If it's not nice, if you're saying like, blah, blah, if you come off like that, if you come off as all caps, don't do that. They'll just not read it. All right. Uh, throughout the development process, uh, so don't hesitate to let us know what you think. Remember, in a very polite manner. Until next time, thank you for playing Pokemon Masters. Pokemon Masters producer, Yu Sasaki. Operations producer, Tetsuya Iguchi. Uh, arigato gozaimasu to uh, the developer team. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome update announcement. Like, uh, I can't wait, guys. What do you think of Steven and 
alone sand, uh, sand slash there. I can't wait. Uh, but yeah, guys, that'll be it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters video, and hit that uh, notification bell so it has all selected, so you always get notified when I upload a video. And uh, let me know about anything that we talked about in the comment section below. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Later.